Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and I'm going to show you how our wireless Bluetooth light gates work. So we have our new wireless light gates have A and B within one housing. So you can see on here, so you've got oh A that side, <laughs> A there and B there. So you can do all the experiments you want, age 15, 16 plus, work an absolute treat with one light gate. There's also another video on the product page and in our teaching academy showing you how to use two light gates. But today we're going to concentrate on one light gate for G experiments. So we're going to have a solid card going from A to B to, uh, so you can find out G, hopefully get around 9.81 so we can have that. We're also going to show how you can just use A, have a double interrupt card, so long as this distance is the same as this. It doesn't care what the gap is, obviously, but that must be identical to that. One velocity minus the other divided by the time in between, and it will work out the acceleration for us. So. We have the light gate just here. It should already be flashing on there, so we are switched on. So we're now going to go to Devices on our EasySense 2 software. Go and click Connect. <clears throat> so we're now connected. So it's one light gate. You can choose two light gates when you're doing two, but again, please see the other video. You'll uh, see how to actually use that. So I'm now going to go to Timing. I'm going to go down to Setup on the bottom left-hand corner, because there's a few more things you need to do with this one. So time, timing's correct. We now want to go for acceleration. We're just going to do uh, the single interrupt to start, as I said, so we'll just go for the single one. So at A is fine, but we need this to say acceleration A to B, should I say, and then you get the option to have the single interrupt card. Oh, it's already up. The length of the card is actually 100 millimeters, so whatever card you have, you can use your own cards and do it that way as well. A little tip when using the cards, try and use darker colours. Black, dark brown, dark blue work an absolute treat. But the infrared beam that's going across here uh, is infrared, and natural light's infrared. It can flood it and stop it working, okay? You don't need blackout blinds. Just move away from the windows or close the blinds, and then everything should work quite happily. So, single interrupt. It's 100 millimetres. That's fine. A to B, so acceleration. A to B, single interrupt, and 100 millimetres. As easy as that. Now, when you click on timing from the start screen, it sets this up automatically. So you've got bar chart here and you've got a uh, table of results there. If you want to have point data, you can just click on here and you can move around on here however you want. So I'm now going to click on start. I'll stay by sitting down to start off with. Let's see what results we get with this. So we're going A to B on here. So we can see that 9.83. Wow, <laughs> not bad at all. We'll do three readings as you normally should do. Oh, so we can have that one there. Terrible reading on there as well. So we go down, have that one on there. That slid the touch the side as well, which again, these are all learning points here. But the results on here, you have a comment box. So when the results aren't exactly what they expect, if they say, well, it hit the side on the way down, that's just as much learning as getting the uh, correct result. So we'll now go on here again. There you go, 9.77. So it's as easy as that to do G with one light gate. So we're now going to repeat that with two light gates. So I'm now going to start off by going to File and go to New Lab. <clears throat> go back to Time In again. Go down to Setup. So this time we still want acceleration, but we're going to go from A to B. So it's not A or B. You know, it's important here you need to have from A to B. We want Oh, we're just doing A this time. We did A to B last time. So we're just going to do at A, double interrupt card. Now again, you must make sure this distance here is the same as this distance here. Mine is 40 millimetres. It's actually a default one here, but you can put whatever length you, uh, uh, you want in there. So that's all selected. You could show all the raw data as well. We're not going to for this experiment today. Go and click Start. So we've now got on here reading of 9.72, 9.78, oh, nearly half. It'd be nice to get 9.81, we'll try one more on here. There you go, 9.72. Now doing that freehand, you can obviously have this on a retort stand and undo the uh, clamp as well to, to let it release. Sometimes your fingers are a little sticky. Give your hands a little bit of a rub sometimes, because uh, if they're sticky, it will sometimes drop. Now this does sound obvious as well, but you'll notice I'm dropping from about yay height. If I go down there, you break the beam. If you break the beam, it started recording. So try to get the students to always be a couple of centimeters above. 
Don't hold it like that. Again, I know that's obvious, but the, a lot of students do that as well. So try and hold it in the middle, rub your hands to get rid of the stickiness, put it in there and then release. And you should get, no, there you go, no, not bad results at all. All right, so that's uh, how to do G with one light gate. There's other videos on there, how to do G with two light gates, dynamic systems. There's lots of things for physics and the time and part there as well. For more videos, please go to our website, data-harvest.co.uk. There's a drop down menu that says teaching. In there is secondary academy. Uh, if you go into there, there's three sections. First section is how you use the Bluetooth sensors. Second section is how you can use the Bluetooth sensors with experiments. And the third section is how to use the EasySense 2 software. Please contact us if you have any support questions at all. On all our wireless sensors product pages, there are worksheets there to download free of charge. So please go and have a look at those. They will guide you through it, help you and your students uh, use the equipment. If you have any support from us you need, please email us sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you.